blown, and uh, we thank God that we are still here. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord for a little time away to rest and, uh, and to restore uh, myself. Thank God for you. Let, let's read that verse together. Uh, Numbers chapter 13 and verse 30. And Caleb still the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. Caleb still the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. I want to talk about possessing the mountains in our lives. Possessing the mountains in our lives. At the time of this text, 12 Israelite men were sent out to check out the land of Canaan, which the Lord had promised to give to Israel by means of an old covenant or agreement made between God and Abraham. In spying the land and surveying the land of Canaan, Ten of the twelve men were shaken with fear. You see, my brothers and sisters, as this surveillance team was checking out the promised land of Canaan, they noticed something that they had never ever seen before. The Canaanites lived in cities that were surrounded or fortified by walls. Never before in their lives had the Israelites seen cities surrounded by walls. The Israelites were accustomed to a lifestyle of living out in the open and moving from place to place. We must remember now that the Israelites were a transitional people who were in route to the promised land. In other words, the Israelites were a wilderness people. They would pitch their tents in one location, take down their tents, and pitch them all over again in another wilderness location. Yeah. So they were not accustomed to seeing walled cities. And my friends, this literally frightened them. Now, not only were the Israelites fearful of the walled cities, but chapter 13 of Numbers also reveals that 10 of the 12 spies were also fearful because in Canaan they saw the sons of Anak, giants, men that were some 12 to 18 feet tall. These giants were, 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 were an unusual sight for these Israelites, and this frightened them. When they got back to the destination at Kadesh Barne, they called a meeting of the congregation, and at the congregational meeting, the spies gave their surveillance reports according to verses 25 through 28 and verse 32 of the Old Testament book of Numbers. This is how the majority report 
Right.